With RBB's journey into minimalist holsters so far, the emphasis has mostly been related to carrying the firearm on the body. But in this episode, we will be discussing some off-body carry strategies, as well as an update on the brands of trigger guard holsters that are up for the job. So join us as we dig a little deeper into trigger guards and minimalist holsters. Greetings and welcome back to RBB. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss a thing. I have bought every holster we've reviewed so far with my own money and have given my honest opinion on each of them. But my reviews have been primarily focused on their usefulness for when a gun is carried on the body or on body carry. However, there are plenty of circumstances when carrying on the body is either against the rules, not possible, or just a fashion choice. Uh, well, you get the point. Simply put, a holstered gun may not always go with the circumstance and sometimes off-body is your only real choice. Now, I have received a fair amount of hate mail about the minimalist holster concept, but there may be a point here that we can all agree upon. When you carry a loaded gun in an unstructured bag or case for self-defense, having the trigger guard covered by an item that can also be used as a holster when needed is a good piece of kit to have around. And this really is where a minimalist holster shines over most others. The ability of these little wonders to be useful as a simple trigger guard holster for on-body carry, as well as being a trigger guard cover for off-body situations is significant if you understand a few key points. So to begin with, and as stated in previous videos, a trigger guard holster is not a gun lock. It should never be used with the intent to keep unauthorized or incompetent hands from controlling a gun. They are only intended to protect the trigger against having a foreign object make its way into contact with the trigger, thereby inadvertently causing the gun to fire. Has this ever happened? Why, yes, it has, more than once. So as the old saying goes, if it's predictable, it's preventable. The next point to consider is that this cover needs cordage that can attach to an anchor point. This is for two reasons. Should you have to draw the gun, you'll want the trigger guard cover to quickly come away from the gun without having to use your other hand or an extra movement to get it off. As well, when putting the gun back into your mode of carry, you won't have to look all over to find the trigger guard cover for reholstering, as it will be within a few inches from where it came off, still attached to the bag or case it was in to begin with. So, with all of that out of the way, what are the best brands and models of minimalist holsters to consider when intending to use it primarily for off-body carry, while still having the ability to pull duty as an on-body holster sometimes? Well, here is what I found. In the number three position for off-body trigger guard cover use, I really like the rounded gear minimalist holster. The downside is that it is the largest of these trigger guard holsters when stripped down. However, what I like most about the rounded gear is that it has an absolute vault-like hold on the gun's trigger guard. Plus, it was my favorite minimalist holster for on-body carry in our holster roundup video, and still is. I wear this holster on-body most days and have not been disappointed once. So, if your off-body mode of carry allows for a little more size in a trigger guard cover, the rounded gear minimalist is a fine choice. In the number two spot for off-body trigger guard holsters that I think is worth a look is the Mission First Tactical Minimalist Holster. The MFT is a little smaller than the rounded gear minimalist, which means less overall footprint on the gun. I have already reviewed the MFT minimalist for on-body carry, but it's a solid contender for off-body use as well. However, adding a belt clip or a claw to the MFT in case you want to carry on body later, does create a little more girth in the gun and holster system that might annoy some. And in first place as a trigger guard cover choice for off body carry is the Raven Concealment's Vanguard 2 holster. This little piece of kit is my hands down favorite for off body and the one that I've used longer than any other minimalist holster. RBB has already created a video reviewing the Vanguard 2 and you'll see I think very highly of its design and modularity. Most obviously, it is capable of being stripped down to being a simple trigger guard cover. In this mode, the Vanguard 2 has a solid hold on the gun's trigger guard, even without the need for tension screws. Moreover, adding a belt clip or ulti clip attachment as a just-in-case for the possibility of carrying a gun in the belt line doesn't add much bulk at all. 
In fact, these clips could even stay in permanently without any notice. If given a choice, though, where consequences are neutral, I would still recommend an armed citizen to carry on their person as this allows for the most overall control of the gun as well as the quickest accessibility. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you right back here next time on Ranges, Backstops, and Burns.